All right, so let's do an example. So this is um, for a rigid body rotation, let's say. So in that case, the velocity field is pretty easy to write down. So the speed at any location is um, V equals omega times R. Um, and of course, the directionality is you know, along the direction of a circle. Um, so if we write down our um, acceleration according to our equation, so we had that S hat acceleration was, one portion was along the streamline, so that's S hat times um, V dV dS plus another component which was perpendicular, so N hat V squared over R. In the case of a rigid body rotation, um, dV dS is exactly zero because the speed is constant along a streamline and um, you know therefore the derivative dV dS is zero. Um, so and then the normal component survives. So the normal component in this case is pointed in the opposite direction as let's say the position vector so I'll call that minus r hat. Um, so n hat is minus r hat and then the magnitude of that acceleration is v squared over r, which in that case, um, you can calculate that that works out to be omega squared um, times r. So um, you can calculate you know, the acceleration of a point using a velocity field that's written along the streamwise coordinates.